Hi everyone, let's quickly understand the concept of beta. Both the levered and the unlevered. If you know that the beta represents the systematic risk, that is the sensitivity of a stock's return to the market return. We have the CAPM formula which states that Ri is equal to Rf plus beta times Rm minus Rf. Ri is the expected return. Rf is the risk-free return, Rm is the market rate of return, B I is the, yes, beta i is the bit of the security and Rm minus Rf can give the market risk premium. Now we also have levered beta and unlevered beta. Let's understand those. The unlevered beta is also known as asset beta because it shows how much risk is there in the business, meaning thereby the sensitivity of our business with respect to the economy. If the debt is also brought into the business, the equity shareholders has to bear additional risk. One is the business risk and other one is due to change in the capital structure resulting in a financial risk. Levered beta factors both the business risk and the financial risk. So we have the formula of levered beta as levered beta is equal to unlevered beta into 1 plus 1 minus tax rate into debt by equity. We can also write it as unlevered beta into equity plus debt into 1 minus tax rate divided by equity. In this formula, we assume that beta of debt is 0. Usually debt beta will be 0. So therefore, this is a correct assumption. But in recent uh, CA final syllabus, we find certain questions where debt beta is given. In those areas, we can't apply this formula, right? Because beta of debt is not at all factored. So we prefer it by using, uh, under prefer it uh, understanding using the balance sheet approach, where uh, we know that balance sheet consists of two basic sides that one side will be full of assets, another side will be of equity and liabilities. Basically, the assets are financed by the equity and liability. Therefore, the beta of liability side should be equal to the beta of the asset side. Beta L is equal to beta of A. Right. So, in my SM, we have this formula which states that beta of asset is equal to beta of equity into value of equity divided by value of the organization plus beta of debt into value of debt divided by value of the organization. Okay. So here the beta of asset will be the unlevered beta and beta of equity will be the levered beta. To cut short this, we can write it as this formula which states as beta of asset is equal to beta of equity into weight of equity plus beta of debt into weight of debt. So to conclude, Whenever beta of debt is not given or beta of debt is given as a 0, we will prefer using this formula. Unlevered beta into 1 plus 1 minus tax rate into debt by equity. Whenever um, beta of debt is given, we prefer this formula. Beta of asset is equal to weight of equity into beta of equity plus weight of debt plus into beta of debt. Please do remember. Thank you.